Today in our 2007 Ford Freestyle, we'll be taking a look at and installing the Curt 2-inch Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 13542. The Curt Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch is a fully welded trailer hitch that simply bolts onto your vehicle's frame with no drilling or welding required. It's a 2-inch by 2-inch receiver hitch with a reinforced collar. We have a safety chain loop that'll work with a wide variety of safety chain hooks. The hole here is 5 8 inch in diameter. It'll work with your common hitch pin and clips or also your favorite hitch pin and lock. You'll notice how it's kind of recessed up underneath the bumper. That way you don't hit your shins or your legs on as you're walking by. This Curt trailer hitch offers a 3,500 pound total trailer weight and a 350 pound tongue weight. That's the weight pushed down on the bottom of the hitch. When you add a weight distribution assembly, that total trailer weight is bumped up to 4,000 pounds and the tongue weight is bumped up to 400 pounds. Be sure to always check your vehicle's owner's manual to see if your vehicle can handle that much. Now we'll give you some measurements that may help you when selecting a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 15 and a quarter inches. Now that we've gone over some features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. The first thing we need to do is lower down the exhaust and the vacuum canister. For our vacuum canister, we have three bolts. There are two on the bottom side, and we've got one on the top here. We're gonna go ahead and take some spray lubricant. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to get off. And we're using a 10 millimeter socket for these three bolts. Now let's go ahead and shake it loose. So we just need to push it this way until it drops down like so. Now for dropping down our exhaust, we actually need to run a safety strap. That way it can rest on that while we're putting the hitch up. So we'll hook one side. It just needs to be a secure spot. Then we'll hook the other side. Pull it nice and tight. As you can see, our exhaust is gonna come down and rest on it. Now for our exhaust hangers, one's located right here, and the other one is located right here. We're gonna go ahead and take some spray lubricant. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to get off. Then we'll just take a pry bar and push it off. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and take off this exhaust bracket here, and we will not be reusing that. And once again, we're just gonna be using a 10 millimeter socket. So we're gonna be working with the driver's side first. We're gonna be using the half inch carriage bolts. So let's first take our half inch fish wire. We're gonna feed it up through the hole here, and then we're gonna come out through the larger hole right here. Now we don't want to pull it all the way through. We kind of leave it hanging like so. Then we're going to take our block, put that on first. We'll push it through the frame first. So up through the larger hole, just like that. And then we'll take our half inch carriage bolt and thread that onto the fish wire. Then we're going to go up through the larger hole again. And then we're going to pull down the fish wire. Now, if it doesn't seem to be moving, you can always take your finger and just kind of help it along until you get it to the smaller hole. And then we're just going to pull it right down through, like so. Then we can remove the fish wire. Be careful when you do so, because we will be reusing it. it kind of helps if you hold on to the bolt. You can thread it off. Now for this hole, we're gonna be doing everything on the outside and then putting it through the hole and then pulling it back out. So we'll take the fish wire, go up through the block, then take our half inch carriage bolt and thread that on. All right, then we'll push the bolt up through first and then the block. Pull it down through, and there we go. Go ahead and take off our fish wire, we've got it. 
Now for the passenger side, we're gonna be working with this hole here and then the larger hole here. We're gonna repeat the same process, only this time we're using the 3 8 carriage bolt and the 3 8 fish wire. Now it can help if you pre-bend the fish wire. That way it guides it right back to where it should go. It may take a little bit just to get it through, but just be patient. And remember not to pull it all the way out. We'll take that block, feed it up through, and then the 3 8 carriage bolt and get that started. We're going to push the block up through first. And then the carriage bolt, and then guide it back down through the other hole. Just like that. Then we can go ahead and remove that fish wire. Now for our last hole, same thing as the driver's side. And then back down through. Now we'll take the rest of our hardware. Remember to install the three half inch bolts onto the half inch carriage bolts and the three eighths nut onto the three eighths carriage bolt. Now let's go ahead and grab an extra set of hands and set our hitch up in a position. Now for this side here, we need to go up and over our exhaust first and then we'll raise it up. Now be careful not to push your carriage bolts back up into the frame. Once we've got it where it needs to be, let's go ahead and take one of our nuts and thread it up through. Once we've got that set, we can actually drop it down and it's gonna hold it in place for us. Then we can go ahead and put the rest of the hardware on. Now with all the bolts snugged down, let's go ahead and torque them down in manufacturer specifications, which are listed in the instructions. Now let's go ahead and put our exhaust back in place. You can see how our hitch here has a built-in exhaust hanger. Press it up and then slide it over. Then we'll do the second one here. And now we can remove our safety strap. Now we can reposition our vacuum canister. Once we get the two bottom holes lined up, we'll need to make sure to get the one lined up up top here. Then we'll take our bolts and get those started. Now we can just tighten them all down. And that's going to complete our look at the Curt 2 inch Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 13542 on our 2007 Ford Freestyle. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.